music that could disappear if no one ever listens to it. You know, so it has to be listened to. It's like, if no one ever heard Duke Ellington, where would music be today? up in a musical family. My father was a singer. He started to play trumpet at one time. And as a kid, I, I started to bother him. How do you do that? You know, so he taught me how to make the sound on the trumpet and taught me how to play a scale. As a teenager, I got really, and I fell really in love with the conga drum. So I was stuck with trumpet and the conga drums at the same time. As a young man, I, I got a chance to work with Dizzy Gillespie. I worked with Dizzy Gillespie. I worked with Eddie Palmieri, with Tito Puente, with Jaco Pastorius, with McCoy Tyner, with Sonny Fortune, with Kirk Leitze, um, with a lot of real great musicians. And um, I consider myself very fortunate to have been around them. recording when I came to Spain is called Derry Gonzalez is Lo Pirata del Flamenco and in it is, is Niño Josele, a Piraña and a Cigala. We tried some of my music and we tried some of theirs and we just made a nice exchange of things to try to make things together and um, uh, the record came out and I think it's a historic record of like meeting of Flamenco with Latin jazz and jazz. I've been an international guy for a long time. <laughs> I've been to Japan, to Africa, you know, to South America, and I always interact with all the musicians that I go, I'm around. Always talking about music, always listening. Hey, I got something to hear, for you to hear, check this out, you know. And um, I think it's important for all that communication to happen. The more people know about it, the better.